Hey what's up guys, I hope you all are doing great and welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing something which I find really fascinating and it's something which we can implement in our daily lives, especially because I know so many of you guys love drinking smoothies. I know I do and I know many of you guys do. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. Well, as some of you guys may know, a lot of smoothie shops, cafes, etc. these days have started offering uh, plant-based milk options such as almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, etc. And these are wonderful things because, um, you know, it's encouraging people to shift towards a more plant-based eating pattern and there's lots of evidence to show that's very good for your health, it's good for the environment and obviously, you know, from a moral standpoint, it just feels better, I feel, if you're you know, following a plant-based dietary approach and again, I'm, no, I'm not um, trying to tell you what to eat and what not to eat, you know, um, diet I feel is a very personal choice but I'm just sharing my personal experience and I think a plant-based uh, diet is just a wonderful way to, um, you know, go about your nutrition. But as I said before, I really like the fact that these cafes and smoothie shops are offering plant-based milk options. However, charging extra money is probably not going to incentivize a lot of consumers to make the switch as much as I'd like it to happen. And that's why I wanted to share a hack which you can use to save a lot of money and, uh, you know, still get the plant-based milk experience that you want. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say that you want almond milk. Uh, in your smoothie instead of regular milk and the shop is charging you 120 bucks extra. One thing is that a lot of smoothie shops, I think 90, uh, 90 to 95% of smoothie shops have add-ons, you know, they have almonds, walnuts, peanut butter, oats, mixed seeds, chia seeds, whatever. They have all the add-ons that you can want. So what I would recommend you do is you get almonds as an add-on and ask them to make your smoothie in a water base. So basically think of it this way, almond milk is what? Almonds and water. So you can just get almonds and water blended together and that makes almond milk. At the end of it, everything has to be blended anyway, so it doesn't even make a difference. And the fact of the matter is that unfortunately in most almond milks uh, on the market, they also add preservatives, emulsifiers. Uh, in some cases, they add some bad oils, they add sugar. Uh, and other um, not so good ingredients um, into this product. So it's better to just have the original almond milk, which is almonds and water, and obviously you can add sweeteners, um, you know, natural sweeteners like dates, maybe some, uh, coconut sugar, date sugar. Um, obviously smoothies have fruits most of the times. So it's all about doing these small things which can really make a world of difference. I think uh, these are small acts which you can make but they can have a really big impact and obviously it can save a lot of money and in this example let's just assume the add-on is for like 30 to 40 rupees. So relative to 120 rupees it's a lot of saving. So I think uh, this is definitely something that you should opt for and I think it won't just save you money but it will, I mean it, this is just a way to be more money conscious right because I'm a big believer in that you should spend money I mean what's the point of making money if you won't even spend it it's not about collecting money anyway if you're just keeping money under the pillow it's actually losing its value because of inflation anyway that's a concept uh, which we'll discuss in more detail in another video for sure but getting back on topic what I'm trying to say is that it's about being money conscious it's about saving money where you can it's about also realizing that because the smoothie is also one of those things which i'm sure a lot of you guys especially those of you who are into fitness will be drinking smoothies regularly so you will save a lot of money in the long run if you're saving 80 rupees in a day if you're having say i don't know two three smoothies a week that's okay let's just say 250 rupees a week you're saving now multiply that by 50, how many is that? Um, you're saving about 12 to 13,000 rupees in a year and that's quite a lot of money. Um, you know, you can buy a couple of really nice pairs of shoes for yourself for instance, you can buy yourself a watch. You know, you can buy yourself quite a bit of stuff with that much money. So I'm just saying, your financial decisions do, you know, compound over time and I think it's about just being money conscious and saving, if you can save, you know, save where you can. Your health is not somewhere where I encourage pinching pennies, but you know, other passive bachar such as in the way which I've uh, explained here, then I, I'd say go for it. And 
even if you're like ordering from delivery platforms like Swiggy, look at offers that are available to you. If you're dining in restaurants, again, look at offers. Um, just do these things, you know, just be um, financially conscious. It really helps. And I, I, I just think that there's so much peace of mind that comes from spending your money wisely. And I just think, um, you know, that's a wonderful way to live. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this with someone you love because that's how we can change many lives together. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.